Hey guys, happy Monday. I hope you guys have had a blessed and highly favored weekend. So I wanted to stop by just for a second to say hello and check in with you guys. I'll be back soon with some more content, just some more updates on certain things that I am currently doing and currently working on. So if this is your first time seeing me, I am Shanice Bowden. You can also follow me well, I should say subscribe to me on YouTube. So head over to my YouTube as well and hit that subscribe button because I go a little bit deeper into things there on my YouTube channel. I have been trying to split both of it in half, you know, YouTube, TikTok. However, you know, we can only do about 10 minutes on here. So um, please go over there and hit that subscribe button. Or at least go check me out, see what you think. Um, but just for a quick word of encouragement since I'm here with you guys just want you to continue to press on continue to press continue to stay encouraged I want you to understand this one thing there's times and seasons in your life where you're gonna have to have that staying power you're gonna have to have that power that that staying power that grit that you need to continue to get up and do what God has called you to do it's not always gonna be easy the enemy is gonna come in to fight you He's not going to just want you to just walk into your destiny easily. But you got to be determined. Do you want to do and be all that God has called you to be? Because in this season of your life, if you continue to press, if you continue to persevere, if you continue to soar, as you continue to roar and do what God is asking of you to do, do not be silent in this season. Listen, hear me by the Spirit of God. I am one who the enemy tried to silence. I am one who the enemy tried to muzzle, but he could not muzzle me. And because he could not muzzle me, I'm going to roar and I'm going to roar strong. And even in the times where I may feel discouraged and I may feel like I am being defeated, I remember that my God is good and that my God is faithful. And so we have to be reminded today of the father that we serve, that we serve a good, good father who will never leave us nor forsake us. And so will you trust him today with your life? Will you trust him with the plans and the purposes that he has for you? Will you trust him so that he can continue to move in your life and do everything that he has promised you God's promises are yes and amen and so we have to be reminded sometimes to stand on the promises of God we have to be reminded sometimes not to get weary and well doing because on this walk with Christ is not the easiest walk it's not the easiest walk but oh glory to God I thank Jesus for it I thank God for the times that I didn't know how I was gonna make it because guess what it taught me to lean on him I thank God for the times that I was in need of something that I didn't have nobody to call on but I thank God for it because I learned how to call on Jesus. So I just want to stop by and encourage you for a moment. And if you are under the sound of my voice and you're wondering, I want a relationship like that with a man named Jesus. Well, let me extend that opportunity to you right now. You can accept him as your personal Lord and Savior. Accept him into your heart. Let him come in and let him do a good work in you. And he'll begin to grab a hold of you and transform you. I love you. Shalom, shalom. I'll be be back soon.